today on Comic Talk, we're talking about Shazam. Shazam. Today on Comic Talk, like I said, I'm talking about the New 52 Sam book by Jeff John and Gary Franks. This is from the page of Virtus League. Uh, that's what's contained. I don't know if it's in the uh, Yeah, I know it says in, I think it says in here. If what's contained in issues 7 through 11, 0, 14 through 16, and 18 through 21. So that's what this whole. So you got like a little bonus comic at the end of each issue of Virtus League, starting from issue 7. And for most of them, up to issues like 21, some of them didn't, but you get a little bottle if you just slam in each one, and you get the, um, eventually get the, um, blah, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? You get a little piece, and then you finally get the whole story. And issue 0 is a full issue, that's featuring the Sam saying what I think is 21. Let's jump into the beginning of this book. Uh, how do you want to start this? Uh, what do you want to start? It starts off with a guy. It's talking about, hey, this is the history of Sazam. This book is the history of Sazam. And we see this guy who is a nice guy who helps people. He gives a quarter or something to a guy who needs money for food. Let's the girl walk in first. He's super nice. He pushes this thing on the elevator. And then he gets transported into this place. What is, you know, the wizard's, the wizard's place? And then he's like, and he's like, and then he like tries to test him to see if he is worthy to be Sazam. And he's like, no, not you, and he's gone. And then you see a doc all these people on these monitors being like, hey, we got cramported into this place for this black wizard, the, the wizard guy. And then we have Dr. Sibley, like, hey, um, I'm trying to look, figure out this Black Adam Sam stuff. And magic, I need magic, that's the only way I can see my family. Well, we never actually see his family in this book, but I kind of like, it's weird. Like, what's the deal? What's his family? Are they dead? Are they something? I'm like, I feel like you kind of got the shaft deal on this, because not knowing what your family has, that could be a thing where I'm like, yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a shaft deal, but yeah, this is pretty, uh, yeah, you probably got the wrong end of the deal. Uh, but then it says, um, in the seven months later in Philadelphia, we see, um, two parents, I uh, see Billy Batson, obviously, who's going to become the same, obviously, and I really spoil it, because we all know that. If you know who Sazam is, you know that. Blue Banton is Sazam. He's gonna become Sazam later on in the book. But then we see a he's in like an orphanage and he's like one of the guys like he's playing it up for these two people who wanna adopt him. And to have to have a bunch of other kids so they want him to adopt him. And yeah. And basically yeah, but once they once they leave he's like what a he's like what a couple of idiots, Billy, because he's kinda like a jerk and an asshole. He's a little bit of an asshole, he's like I mean he does have a good side to him but you don't see it too often in the beginning other than him playing it on for the, the pants and then eventually and the blaze like you've been bouncing on house to house you need to you need to make this one stick he's like yeah i'll make a stick or whatever i'll stay with these guys they'll be fine whatever i don't care and then obviously um this is, uh billy's coming to new house and you see all the kids looking out the window looking at him like hey he's here finally yay and then we see him go up to the house, him and the, whatever, the, off, the person who walks at the, um, orphanage or whatever, takes him up there, so he's like, yeah, okay, so he goes to the house, and they're like, and they act all nice and stuff, and then they, so he takes him in, and they see the rest of the family, and we see, um, ready, and, uh, does it say their names here? Oh yeah, it doesn't like face. So, so we see the whole family. There's one, two, three, four, five other kids in the house. So one, two, three, four, five, six kids with a lot of kids. And we see like them trying to help him by taking his hat, jacket. Obviously, you see Freddy. It's one of the kids pickpocketing him. He's the guy in the crutches. Which you remember from the old comics, he was Captain Marvel Jr. So yeah. And then we see him. They see being some hot chocolate. And they're like, I do. I like hot chocolate. So everybody gets that. And then we see um, everybody introducing themselves. If we have Mary, who loves the Mary Marvel, who we all know as Mary Marvel or Miss Marvel from the um, comics. And we have Freddy, we have Pedro, Pedro. We have uh, so, uh, Eugene and Dola, Darlene, Darlene. And so Sam is like, all getting to like, hey Billy, you really want to appreciate you? And Billy has that look on the face, he's like, 
I don't want to be here. I, this sucks. I don't fucking care. And then they take him up. So he's like, hey, why don't you go show him his room? They do that. And B is like, I'm not your brother. We're not family. No, it's really a family. He's like, the rules are like, no, you guys are my family. And then, what? And he makes her cry. And he's like, he made her cry because he find out that her parents, I just left her. They just left her. They're not in prison. Or your parents are dead. Like mine, so we find out Maymon's parents are dead, or Fetty's, or like I'm in prison. Uh, you didn't want, they didn't want her, they're like, we don't want you. That is kind of really sad, and when you think about it, it's kind of really sad, and it's like, oh. I was expecting you to say that. Okay. Moving on, and then she's Maymon was like, yeah, I don't, um, don't, blah, blah, blah. you don't care about anyone but yourself. Like, how sad is that? And then we see um, him take out a picture. Obviously, we see his parents and a cat. And a tiger. A picture of his parents and a cat. Uh, and then we see Sunder going on outside with like a face, and he's like, Weird, that's weird. And he's like, ah, I didn't mean to make her cry. And then obviously, the girl wakes her up. Uh, I s I wakes her up and. Wake them up, doesn't so we can go. It's like, um, uh, you be like, darling, wakes her up. He's like, aren't you mad at? Me? Aren't you mad at me? You can't be mad at everybody. And then they all, and then they all go downstairs to get breakfast and stuff. And then they go to school, and he's like, oh, school, fucking sh school, fucking can't go to school. And so they go to school. They find that Freddy hands out like fake uh, tests and things. And he gives it to somebody, gave one to somebody, but I found out, like, Hey, he was asking me about this, about this, this fake note you gave me, uh, to get me out of class, but it was, like, for girl stuff. Like, for, like, something only a girl can have. So it didn't really work. He's like, oh, I'll get you two next time. On me. Next two on me. And, yeah, Gray, Gray Frank's on this is top notch, if not. It's like him doing, him, he doing his best here, and this is just so great. It works so well, it's so good. The great thing about the book is just so gay Frank so it's like I could do my clock a lot of stuff he does, it's top notch and this book is no exception. And then we see these after school, we see these bullies come up uh, to attack uh Freddy. The coach and Billy kinda kinda starts walking off and the bullies start coming and attacking him. And obviously Billy Bands are coming and starts hitting the kids and beating them up because they were uh beating the crap out of him and obviously He's like, oh, you helped us? He's like, I don't, it's no big deal, I just, I don't like bullies, and obviously a teacher or principal song. And this is one of the where it's like, yeah, this is a fucked up school. There's one guy, so we're gonna find out this one guy's an asshole. It's like, oh, you were not, yeah, you beat up these kids, and even though they were being the ones beating up the other kids, like, um, and stuff, and the dad had to come in and like, yeah, you're being, you know, you've seen all your paperwork. They're not good from all the other schools you went. They're not good. And then the father was like, I hope I, I'm busy making donations to a school for questionable children. At the war, he doesn't happen again. Like I'm giving you money, but if this kid keeps playing my kid, keeps hitting, hitting my kid, you're not gonna get your money. And then it's like, won't be a, uh, a doesn't, it won't be a. And like if Billy Benson does anything like this again, he will not be a child a student here. And I'm kind of like, in this example, I'm gonna have to say Billy was in the right. These other kids were picking on him, and yeah. So I don't know what to do because like all of these teachers are kind of biased. I'd be like, yeah, the kids deserve it. No, yeah, so these little other kids deserve the whooping they got from Bullet, from Billy. He just beat the crap out of me. And they deserved it too. They're a bunch of spoiled brats, so yeah, they can go get whatever. But Billy goes on with like, no, I don't give a shit. I, like sometimes you have to fight. You talking to that? Dad. Well, I guess it's stepdad or whatever. He's like, yeah, you have to fight. He goes over and sees the guy. He's like, he goes and like, that's the if you bored ever, um, uh, blue law makes rest to them or hurt them again. But he's like, if you stop bothering, stop bothering people, I'll, I'll make you hurt. That's the promise. And then he's like. Father, you're not looking at my boys again, and you have to deal with me. And then he's like, What are you doing? And then the dad goes, What are you doing? It's just a kid. And he's like, 
I don't have to listen to you. I am the king of this world. I'm rich. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can kill. I could kill you kid if I wanted to. I don't, I don't know if we would go that far. I wouldn't be surprised. And also, this guy I'm looking at. I don't know why, but somehow it looks he reminds me when he's mad and stuff. It reminds me a little bit. I was like, God damn you, he didn't. For some reason, he'd look a little bit in certain parts when he gets mad and stuff. Mine just Vanal Savage. I don't know why. I know it's not him, but yeah, they got the complete asshole. Put them to the ground and you, they ride off and he's like, are you okay? It's like, whatever. They would jump to 45 miles more, so, for the, uh, bang horde? I don't know, some place out in the middle of nowhere, out in like, uh, probably a middle eastern country or something. I see Dr. Slifley doing, obviously, digging, looking for stuff about the Suzanne stuff. They finally found the tomb. Oh, where Suzanne was. He tries to open it. He gets, like, electrocuted. And then you see another place, like, I can see magic, you see, he has this, like, Sazam symbol on his eye, and you see the inside of his eye, it's like, all, like, magic and shit. So, he's not having a, a good time, but at least he can see magic and shit now. But then we see his parents, uh, his step-parents basically talking. I guess who are kind of step-parents, they do become his step-parents, because he stays with them. And not a spoiler, I'm just, I'm just feeling the spoilers in this for some reason. But they're, like, it's all the, there's, like, basically your step around. They're like, yeah, he was faking about being at the orphanage. He was faking everything. He's not who he says he is. Like, and then someone's, like, yeah, he's been going out from house to house and all those other things. Like, yeah, you gotta do something. He's not, he obviously, he's not gonna be all the stuff's happening. Because of da 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 And then he leaves in the night. And then uh, Freddy wakes up and he sees, huh? He sees the pickles on the floor. And he goes off to follow Billy. Billy goes to the, uh, obviously the zoo, where the, uh, um, where, he goes to the zoo where the tiger is, and he gives him the sandwich, and he knows, no pickle chips, say like it, and he's like, Tony, if you remember from the original, old school, um, Suzanne's stuff, I don't know if they did any of that new 52 or anything, but Tony, the tiger, was actually a character, and stuff, we loved all the confidence of his character, I think it was his own character, it was really weird, but yeah, the thing. But then he finds out that uh, Freddy was behind him, like, you know, uh, what's, uh, what's it called about uh, following him, so he flings him around, like, what? He didn't know who was, I thought he was like, oh, oh, he, Freddy, what the hell are you doing? He's like, oh, here's your wallet, I know this, whatever's going on. He's like, yeah, whatever. He's like, and then you talk about how those kids keep on beating him, and like, yeah, we can't really do anything. And saying how like these so parents are my parents. I know like face like they're, they're good parents, they're good people. He's like, no, they like, yeah, yeah, whatever, they're not my parents. And he's like, you they talk about like how they won't probably bug us for a while. And it's like, what do you mean for a while? Like they're gonna uh be they're just gonna attack us and I gotta get everybody else out of the way. <laughs> Mr. Dad, and he's like, yeah, he's an asshole as much as the kids are. And he's like, well, I, it's very like, well, I do know where they live. And he's like, and then he sees him, Billy gets this big smile, and the tiger goes, Rah. it's really, it's a really good scene. And then we jump back to where uh, Dr. Shiv is, Savvy, Savvy, I, for some reason, I know I'm saying his name wrong. It's Savvy, Dr. Siv, Savannah. Savannah? Savannah? That's not right. Sively? Sively? I'm not saying this word. I'm sorry, I'm getting this name wrong. I, I feel like I know the name in my head. Like, I, I can hear it in my head, but I just can't say it for some reason. He's going down deep within the tunnel and he finds, because he can now, with the magic, he can read the, like, um, symbol and stuff on the wall. And he figures out what's going on and he figures it out. And he knows he has to say the word to Zam. He says it. The wall blows up and. Black Adam appears. He's like, where is the wizard? I must get to the wizard, get all the power. And obviously he takes a rock and throws that one of the other guys, kills them, and takes them both up to the, like, a ceiling, uh, out, up into the open air. He's like, uh, uh, I know where the wizard is, I, mean, I can help. He's like, he knows what's like, I can help. And the one guy gets like, you and he's there, and he's like, I am Dr. Suri, I'm the one who can help you find the wizard, I know stuff, I've been looking into it, I know what's going on. I can help you find the wizard, Zan. That's what I can do. So that's what he's gonna do. And then we see Billy and, um, Billy, and what's in the call space? Billy and, uh, Fetty at the house of the, um, what's we call it, the... Uh, the kids and the dad who was being an asshole, being the bully, he like 
it's quite to break into the car so they can do stuff to make it roll down the hill or something and crash. But then the car along goes off and he's like, get out of here, he's like, Freddy, get out of here. He's like, go on, he's like, he's like, and Freddy's like, I am, I can't go that fast, I'm a crap boy, you know. But he throws him into the bushes and he's like, hey, catch me if you can. And showing like, hey, look, I saved you like, from getting beat up. You're like a crap boy, and I'm, even I'm not that being the, like, somebody like you gets beat up. And then he's like, boys, get him. He's like, that Billy kid. He's like, boys, get him, and then the boys chase him, and they go through town. And, like, the boys are chasing him when he gets on the subway. And then once he gets, he gets hit, like, when he gets on the subway, he gets hit. And the door starts closing. He's like, this is no Banson. Um, and then the crane just starts getting, like, it looks like it's magic and electric, and the crane just changes. And he pops up at a place, what is the Wizard Zam's place, and he goes in there to try to find the Wizard Zam. And then we see uh, this thing. I see the wizard finding finds out that oh black island back oh shit that's gonna be a problem later. And then we see him in the uh, that's how I think it is it no uh, we see him in the place that has a bunch of look like magical uh, things and stuff and he's in there he's going to find uh, he eventually finds goes upon and finds the uh, wizard. All the like things, first you find all the don't tell which is all the things like pride, greed, gluttony, all that kind of stuff. Then he finds the wizard and he's like, and the wizard's like, oh, attack someone. There was no attack with someone like you, and he starts talking to him and all this stuff. And he's shocked and because he's like, oh, what are you like? And he sees all the bad stuff he's done, like steal a car, steal some food, break into a house, be a dick to people. Leave when the pan for being like being, but now you're finally being a new person. And he's like, You were wrong. And he talks talking to him like, You were wrong. He's like, Oh, I should look for the good in you, not just look for you. Because I was like, Oh, yeah, you're gonna be bad, but I should look for the good in you. And he does it again. He sees all the good stuff he does with taking care of the tiger, helping this girl. Okay, get out of here. Uh, wait, well, he I just don't like bullies, him saving crazy. You have the potential, I suppose, to be this good person. And he like, I don't like falls because he's like, not in the best of shape. So he's like, he says, say it to Sam. He's like, that's supposed. And he's like, he says, he says to say it to Sam. He says it, and it's like, well, that's supposed to do something. He's about to say it to Sam with like meaning. He says it to Sam, and then boom, he becomes Captain Marvel. Well, to Sam, as he's known in this book, because Captain Marvel does copyright and shit. But I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. DC did Captain Marvel come first? I don't know. Probably the other one came first, but who really? Who the hell knows? But it doesn't matter. You can call him whatever he wants. I, I call him Captain Marvel all day I want. Because basically he is Captain Marvel. And he got this power. And that I can feel it. And he hits like the the thing and he's just got the powers and stuff. And then we see the old man. And he, um, the old man falls. He's like, Wizard, Wizard. Because he's like falling down. He looks dead and he transforms again. He says to Sam again. He's a like, Wizard. And he gets electrified back to. To where Freddy is, he does say where Freddy is, and he's like, okay. And Freddy's like, I was scared, he didn't know who this person is, he just appeared out of nothing. He finds out that it's Billy. He finds out that Billy takes the car, uh, and he takes the car, crashes it, and then he um, goes outside and sees the car crash like that. For the record, I don't know how you think Billy, I understand why you were saying Billy did it because he was there earlier, but how? Just how do you think he did this? Like, how do you think a kid did this? I don't know how you that can be done. I mean, you would have to be really that would have to be. I would like to see how that kid can do that. He's like my car and shit. He's like my car, and then I see him run away, and he's he's, he's touching some like uh, lights, and then like some stuff breaks because the electric stuff occurring in him. Then we see um, a girl getting robbed, and he goes up to like, he sees him like, you see that? And he like goes up to save her, obviously. And he's like, he hits him, he's like, I didn't mean to hit him so hard at all. And he's like, I didn't mean to hit him so hard. Oh my God. He's like, thank you. He's like, what can I do for you? He's like, well, uh, I'm a little strong cast. Well, all right. She gives you money. She gives him money. He's like, thank you. And it's showing like, Billy becoming like, hey, using your power. Kind of like himself and being more you. But not evil, but he's using it more for like himself or monetary gain and other things. And eventually, you will come over that. And then we see him get 20 bucks and he goes, like, we're gonna be rich. And then we see uh, Dr. Simply with uh, 
What's that? Doctor, uh, which one? Called? Shively, whatever. Uh, Shively, whatever his name is, Black Adam. Like this war looks like crap. What happened to the war? So why do you guys protesting? He's lightning. He takes up, goes up to the building. Like, hey, he goes and finds this boss guy, and he takes him and drops him because, like, I'm going to you are slaves, you are set free. Obviously, he doesn't know what's going on, so he's like, doesn't know. Too basically, like, teach the language to me. He's like, teach the language. Teach the language. He does. It's like. We need to go, like, we need to, it's like, yeah, he, he now he learned, he, uh, like, put his hands on his head to learn the language, so he can get to know language. He learned it, and he's like, yeah, we need to go. And they go and find the witch's place, it's on the ground, and they found a, um, they found the door to it. Yeah, I see it, like, I'm trying to go in. And Suzanne obviously can't go in it, and Dr. Sibley can't go in it. So it's, it hurts with that, it's like, you're... You're connected to magic, but you're not like fully magic like we are, so you can't just go in there, it's gonna hurt uh, or whatever. And then he tries to go and he sees the wizard, uh, chose a new champion, he sees that the wizard chose a new champion, he's like, and only, and because he can't have to see the wizard chose a new champion, he obviously goes, gets a um, new um, outfit, like a what's we call it, Cla coat, it's like 10 bucks. I don't know where you're going, where well, you got a coat for 10 bucks. But yeah, unless you unless you fake it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Ten bucks, got a new jacket. So now I can see who you really are. And if we see um, and and we see um, what's it called? Uh, this guy ordering pizza in the Portland, and we and Susanna simply come up and go to him, and they're like, as like this guy, this fat guy who's really lazy, and he. And Sam lets him know and you find out he's actually one of the the gluttony or just uh one of the other I am sloss. You find out who he is. Well the guy who's working for this is gonna walk black at him and he's like, Yeah, they got some food. So they got black at him and uh Sam and stuff got food, uh, with some money they had, and then we go to them trying to get more money from a bank and the electric kids it gives it like a electric kids and money starts coming out, but then money won't stop coming out of it. But then we see like mother guys robbing a bank. He's like, oh, no, they ain't robbing no one, this is our job, and he just starts attacking them, and beats them up and saves the day, and he runs off with them, he's like, I have most of the cash. He's like, yeah, only 40, I only got 40 bucks and 75 cents, I'm like, first of all, that's not too bad, but yeah, they go in and kind of get some, like, uh, alcohol and stuff, and like, I don't know, do we want to get this? I don't know. And then we, like, um... The guy uh, we getting robbed in the convenience store hits him on the head, knocked him out. They go, the guy a bunch of like junk food. I don't, uh, luckily, I didn't get any um, alcohol, was at least somewhat of a saving grace. And they see a guy, called Jack and Connie, just takes him out. He wants to get him, like, get lost, and he throws him and hits the guy. And then, um, as the MC sees this person in this mirror, who's one of the other things, uh, and talks to her for a little bit. One of the other uh, entities or whatever the things are, the got me be one of those I think. Unless he was also in the uh Sam Temple or where we call place. Oh it's the Rock of Eternity, I guess. Let me see he can then we see learn that he can fly. Do him and Freddy go flying? Do they go flying? And then they get into a little argument and then Freddy kinda of leaves like uh oh, yeah, I'm gonna it's Freddy leave like Freddy. And then he tries to go to find him. He's like, "What now?" And he's like, "At last, I found you." And this Black Adam found Captain Sazam, and they're gonna get into a big fight. But then we go back to Sibley, who's trying to find the other members of Black Adam's team. He finds another one, and sets her free. Absolutely, whatever. Sets her free. And then we go back to Sazam and Black Adam, and they like, "Who are you? I don't know who you are." It's like how old are you? And then they get then they get into obviously the fight of Black Adam and Captain Marvel or Shazam were having a fight. He's like you're going to he's like you're going to hurt somebody because he's like uh she's like, wait a minute, you can't do this here, you're gonna hurt somebody and he's like I don't fuck it. He's like yes you and then they get into a fight. Obviously Shazam changes back into his younger self, but the best is and obviously uh, Black Adam doesn't know who that is, so he got away scotch free and, and was hiding for a little bit. Then we cut back to the 
Fowl's where the family are, and he has the um, uh, what's it called? The uh, the big uh, bad uh, I guess the one the bad guy, the bad guy was really uh, the dad with the butters and stuff. Who are complete assholes, and they bought the cops out like your son did this really bad. And they're like, how the hell did he do that? How the hell? that's not even possible? Let me see Freddy here. Let me see a car. And a big bus come. It's like it's out of bus, and my bus just comes flying down and hits the car to bloom because Captain uh, Black Guy is throwing cars and trucks and shit everywhere and destroying the town. And we see him on TV. See Black Adam. He's like, I will find you, champion, and I will kill you. He's like, uh, Billy, it's is him. He's like, he's not a Black Adam. He's looking for Sam. Like who? I'm talking about Billy Pedro. Billy is Sam. And they're all like, who's Sam? And he shows a picture of him. And he talks about all this stuff like a wizard who found da da da. It's like giving the whole story of like what happened, what Billy told him, and da da da. And he goes and finds uh, them. It's like, hey, I know what's going. We know what's going on. He tells them like, you told them. It's like, yeah. Not a stupid. It's like you're not a stupid kid or whatever. And like, yeah, we we're gonna we can help you. And they go. To find the wizard Sazam, they go on the ground to find the wizard, obviously Sazam, that's what they're going to do. Obviously, you simply brought back all the guys who he turned back into whatever. So, yeah. So, now they're walking with him, and as we can see, uh, they're all going on the ground to try to figure out what's going on to try to get to Iraq or Eternity, and then they go, oh, whatever. We were talking to him earlier, talked to him earlier through the uh, iPad device. And then, obviously, he flying. Then we get the story about Black Guy, about the origin about what happened with him and his uncle and stuff and we learn about it what happened and how his family retreated and all this crap and how everything kind of went to shit you know he kind of became Suzanne he's like I want to be Suzanne so I can save my uncle and stuff and that's the only reason I want to be Suzanne he did this saves his uncle and he becomes Suzanne and then eventually his uncle just kills him and he becomes this powerful thing but the wizard has to stop and that's what we get for Black Adam Sword Chin. He becomes evil and obviously they just have to stop him. But um believe he hasn't goes up to like save him. like, I know what's going on, I know. I follow your whole path, I know what's going on, I can try to help you stop this stuff. And he's like, No, I'm you grab him like I don't worry, you don't you can't scare me. You you cannot scare me. And then he sees inside him. I guess there was him inside him, I guess the rest of what happened, like what I just said, it looks like. Then we see the rest of the family come up and they see Billy he attacked by Sazam. Like we gotta do something to they take this car and quick and ram it into Sazam. Well really it shouldn't do anything, but it looked like it did a little bit. And Billy goes to Sazam, he can't find Sazam. And then he sees all of them being attacked and like Paul can mean two of them are being grabbed pulled by the neck and the other way on to putting put down in the hell. Not in the best condition. And we see Sibley and the other guys come in. Help and oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh no, we'll hold it in. And we see um, uh, all this stuff happening, and we see uh, go back to the house where the parents are. And like, well, the kids are gone. And it's like, yeah. Uh, the one guy's like, you gotta stop. You gotta what's we call it? You got to which arrest this man. He did this and that. And like. Uh, a Corey or that and all this stuff and then you see the evil, all these evil creatures come in, the guys who, um, civilly black and I want to set free, all come in and they attack, uh, the dad, you know, like, suck inside him and becomes a giant evil, like, monster, with a big, like, uh, uh, which we call it a, uh, satanic symbol on him and stuff, I forget what that is, call it, but all this stuff and he's like, ah, attacking the city, and obviously, Sazam knows what to do. Sam knows what to do. He's like, say, he's like, say the words, and I will set them free. And he's like, and then the the voice in the in the it's in the water that's talking to him. And he's like, he kind of gets the idea of like, oh, I know what to do. He says to Sam, and then he's like, I, black guy's like, I don't feel any different. And we see everybody else got the power of Sam. What's kind of cool? Uh, I know uh, Mary and uh, um, Freddy has gotten the power before, but these other people are new. But it's so cool. They all got the powers. Of Sazam, and it's pretty cool. The costumes aren't bad. I like them a little different. So that's cool. So they got the power of Sazam now. And, uh, 
and yeah, so now they all have the powers, and they all go I'm like, uh, uh, get him, and then they all attack, like Suzanne, they all just, Black Adam, they all just attack him, because all the guys attacking Black Adam, it's not, it's going to be pretty easy when he's attacking them, and they're obviously getting into the fight, and it's like, uh, yeah, uh, we need to figure out what to do, and then this big guy monster is attacking, it's like, you guys need to, I'm going to go take Black Adam, and you guys need to go and attack all these, uh, uh, he's like, you guys need to go and like attack, save people and save this monster. And I'll go take on Black Adam myself. But they go and start saving people, and because they walk on saving people, and uh, and Mary goes to fight the monster on his own. And we see um Billy and the what's it called Black Adam go to the uh the zoo. They find out where the tiger is, and the tiger gets let out. He uses his magic to give the tiger like. You know, to make him kind of stronger, and a giant tiger attacks him, and he does a little bit of damage to Black Adam. And if you see, um, uh, all the other Sazams get their powers are getting weakened because he keeps using his powers and giving it to other people, so he keeps weakening them. And then, uh, the tiger gets changed back to normal. And anybody else, with all the other ones are losing the powers, and Captain, uh, Sazam is attacking. Fighting, still fighting uh, Black Adam and having a fight, and the other ones are losing their powers, and eventually he's like, Suzanne, he's like, oh, you can't, then he turns back into Suzanne because he's kind of lost all the powers. He's like, oh, you want to fight me? You think you can fight me with them? You're not a hero, you're nothing. Like, he keeps, he can't taunt him enough to where he just changes back to the regular form. Suzanne, and they like fall to the ground, and he's like, what's that happened? And then he just tries to attack him, and it's like, and he just turns to dust, and basically turns to bones and dust. He says, Suzanne, and he basically beats him. And then the other monster gets uh, destroyed. Like we are free and they're all free. And then the, then uh, the one guy, uh, and the one monster, because all the other monsters say we are free and they leave. Cause then they don't have to work with Black Adam anymore. Then the monster gets shrunk down back into the guy, the evil dick, and he's in. You now he's in like the naked buff. Stay there, they give up. Everybody's just laughing at him. Everybody's just sitting there like freaking laughing at him. Like, so he's like, stop laughing right now. I'm like, oh, fuck you, you guys can be an asshole. Billy comes in, he's like, hey, it's the guy who saved this, that, the other, the other saved the day. And then we go to, back to Billy. Um, he's at the house, back at the house, sleep. He wakes up and it's Christmas morning. The opening presents of, yeah, he's like, yeah, are you still gonna stick around, Billy? He's like, yeah, where else am I gonna go? So, yeah. And then again, with kind of a cool thing, I was thinking it'd be like, hey, there might be more later on. And I don't know if they ever continue this, but. So the doctor suddenly going into the, uh, uh, uh what's it called, the Rock of Eternity and finding the, goes in and he finds this thing talking to him and he finds it in this little bottle. It's this little thing. It is Mastermind, a Mastermind, a little like, um, like, uh, like what's it called, Calipedo thing, where I can, like, read minds and can call people or whatever. Yeah, it's him, it's like the beginning, it's like, yes, it's the beginning and it has some artwork and stuff in the back. But that was Suzanne, the volume one, uh, the new PT one. Uh, this is basically the entire thing, it's all in one trade. Really nice, happy I got to talk about this book. It's awesome if I didn't talk about it to the best of my abilities. I did the best I could, and that was fun. So did not talk about a book I just read. I just read that recently. I just read that like a couple days ago. So yeah, it's really great. Sazam, awesome. Check out the new 52. Um, Sazam by Jeff Johns and Jay Franks. Check it out. There, and that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. You guys can check the link in the description of my Facebook and again, Quinter. Uh, subscribe if you know if I like new videos, like a favorite video, and you ignore it. Stay epic, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. This is the end. So, stay epic.